buzzing out. These are so awesome. Fair trade balls. Like, we've been waiting for the same, we've been waiting for these for ages. There's more behind it, you know? People, not, no little kids are making these balls. Made fair and fair trade. Just. <laughs> yeah, you probably do owe me just a little bit. It was getting smashed by how many? Have you? Twenty odd? Yeah. They hit pretty hard. I was trying to wind them up saying they hit like girls, but they hit pretty hard. It's better than going for lunch at the food court, you know? So they come down here and get smashed and then um, play a bit of rugby. But the balls were good on the upside, the balls were good. Yeah. They work really well. I managed to touch it a couple times. I think I set up that last try. A long way off though. And uh, it was fun. Uh, my name is Quintessa Wright. I'm the captain for the first 15 rugby team for Auckland Girls Grammar. It's pretty awesome. It's really good to see like um, fair trade. We we've never known like any organisation, especially uh, helping organisation to like evolve around anything to do with sports, especially with school sports. That do you feel confident playing with those balls? <laughs> it's a great ball. There's a lot of friction, and the design is pretty cool. And I know all the girls want one, so <laughs> might have to hide these ones for the season. <laughs> when we got the material and the equipment, we um, I kind of a couple of girls were just down here practicing, and I just went down and had a chat and said, "What do you what do you feel about this?" And they were instantly, "Oh, fair trade sports equipment, that's awesome!" You know, and I kind of wasn't I wasn't expecting that response, but the minute we got that response, we went, "Right, that's it. Yeah, we're we're fully involved in this." So, hi, my name is Alpha Trees Lavea, and. I wrote a song for Fair Trade. Every day, living the same way, and not ever being able to change. Being pushed around, start work on the ground, having no right to say what they feel. So let's go, lead them out of child slavery today. We'll put them out of their misery, helping someone but yourself, giving somebody your help. Just be the way to save them and take all their fears away. Because they're ethically made, uh, and a lot of the money, these trust funds have been set up, and money is going back into the families of the uh, the, the workers, so they're benefiting directly. Um, so it's giving them a better life. So you know, there's a, a real ethical issue there, which is fantastic. Uh, although it's just, it's humble, it's early beginnings for for the fair trade sports ball area. Uh, we believe that in time, a lot more schools will be buying the, the sports balls. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased to be uh, supporting fair trade. I think it, it's a great cause. Um, it's doing great things. And if you're like me and you're kind of a little bit disappointed that you never got bitten by a spider and became Spider-Man and couldn't save the world that way, at least you can kind of feel like you're saving the world by buying stuff that's fair trade products. So go on, do it.